Hey, yeah, it's Phil, the pharmacist. Yeah, I'm a giraffe. I have a long neck. I can reach the pills. Shut up. Don't judge. Anyways, you know, speaking of judge, my dad, he was like, why don't you go to med school, Phil? Like, you know, the smart kids. And I'm like, F you, dad. Okay, first of all, I took the MCAT. I crushed it. I don't want to be a doctor. They're assholes. I mean, not all of them. It did. Okay, Dr. Jones is an asshole. That fucker calls me all the time. He's like, hey, I wrote pro air and you gave albuterol. And I'm like, to the same thing. Also, f you. Uh, you know, dad was like, fucking, why can't you be like Jeffrey? He's so fucking rich. I'm like, he worked at Toys R Us. He was their mascot. Of course he's rich. You know what now he is though? Dead by suicide because he knew shit about the Clintons, you know? And <laughs> you go work at Toys R Us, you roll into those high circles full of pedophiles. Clintons are going to get involved. It's just a matter of time. It's a matter of time. Anyway, so like I said, I'm a, I'm a pharmacist. I went to four years of school. I know drug interactions. I know pharmacology. I know shit the doctors don't know. I know shit the nurses doesn't know. And yeah, I said doesn't because I, what I didn't do was major in English because English is for idiots. Okay, people who learn English, okay, that aren't Mexican, they can f themselves. I know a lot of shit. And I used to do inpatient pharmacy. I used to deal with Blanche, that nurse on 4 West who's like, Hey man, my Pixis isn't pixelating. I'm like, shut up, Blanche. First of all, you have one patient, okay? Take a chill pill. I've got like 40 patients I gotta, I gotta do shit and I gotta calculate. So I gotta make sure the chemo's correct. Like shit splashing in my eye. Dude, I got like vincristine in my eye. You see this eye? Yeah, I can't see this eye because this eye is blind because of vincristine splash. Okay, shit gets real in my world. So Blanche, you can fucking wait a couple minutes. Yeah, now all the nurses are gonna get mad. They're gonna send Z-Dog messages. How dare you? Our pharmacist is a piece of shit. It's like, you know, I thought, I thought you motherfuckers were here to talk about teamwork, all right? And speaking of teamwork, we're the last touch point patients. Like, doctors do this shit, the five minutes visits because they're busy. Nurses are like, get out, you know, my hospital. Who are they gonna see? They're gonna see Phil, the pharmacist, man. And they're pissed because they had a bad experience. So what happened? And they're coming up to Phil and they're like, you know what, Phil, stick them up. This is a motherfucking robbery. And they're pulling out their fucking little Glocky McPistol. <laughs> and I just laugh. I just laugh in their face. I'm like, bitch. You remember that scene in The Dark Knight where he goes, do you know who you're trying to steal from? <laughs> okay. Do you know Jimmy Walgreens? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that motherfucker, uh, he will fuck you up. Okay. He has put holes the size of the Statue of Liberty in little old ladies who came in here trying to, trying to pill for Dolkalax. Okay. He doesn't give a fuck. Sometimes you gotta flex on these hoes, you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, so doc, this is the thing though, man. If you don't write it out clear, man, the patient's like, what's alprazolac? And I'm like, alprazolam is um, uh, the benzodiazepine that your physician is recommending. Uh, and they go, but I want Zannies, bitch. I said, this is the same as Xanax, it's just the generic. No, but I want that good Zanny. You know those Zanny bars? First of all, I'm not your doctor, thank fuck. God. <laughs> Nobody wants to do that residency shit, okay? I make like 70% what that motherfucker makes, but, and all I have to deal with is some motherfucker going, give me that shit that Lil Wayne takes. That's the thing. People don't realize pharmacists don't take any shit. We, th we make it look like we're taking shit. People complain, they're like, I waited 15 minutes for my Delano. And I'm like, bitch, you waited 20 minutes for your Starbucks shit of Chino. And the person making that doesn't even have a high school education. I went to four years of school and I got 400 patients, bitch, like, and no, you can't use your Starbucks card here to pay your shit. So speaking of which, I'm not, I am not playing these insurance games anymore, all right? Okay, three letters, PBM, they can fuck themselves. They are the worst, man. It used to be like we were finding Nemo, like I was a community pharmacist, I had my practice, there was Nemo's dad, there was Nemo, hey little Nemo, are you constipated? Here's some Miralax for you. Hey Nemo's dad, Viagra, cause I know what's up. Hey Nemo's mom, you free later? Hey, <laughs> call up Dr. Jones, Dr. Jones, hey man, how's it going? Yeah, Nemo's here, anyways, he's constipated again, his dad's impotent, and his mom's a hoe. Yeah, it's just Tuesday, we all knew everything, right? Then what happened? A shark swam into the coral neighborhood. That shark was called PBM, with a side of United Health, with a little bit of Optum, a side of CVS and Walgreens, right? And what happened? Ate the fuck out of Nemo's mom, right there, Nemo's crying. Nemo's dad's neurotic as fuck. Oh, I gotta protect Nemo! And I, next thing I know, I'm working at Costco like a bitch. Happy that I'm getting a $1.25 cheese slice, which is the same price the other motherfuckers have to pay. All right, I'm better than this. 
That's the thing. I'm way better than this. Everybody knows that except for my dad because he's a punk ass bitch. You know what? Jeffrey's dead. I'm alive, okay? I have needs. I'm here. Jeffrey's not here. I know you're still mourning Jeffrey. You know what? But he died by suicide. Suicided by the Clintons. He knew too much. <laughs> Speaking of people who think they're better than me. Okay, so I'm put way in the back in the Target Supercenter. Fucking Humberto, the optometrist, is in the front. Why is he in the front and they put me in the back? This is like some Rosa Parks level shit, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna start slinging pills. I'm a legal drug dealer, bitch. Enjoy yourself. I'm gonna start slanging pills from the front and Humberto can suck a dick in the back with his fucking number one or number two. Shut the fuck up, Humberto. <laughs> by the way, this Metamoji episode is sponsored by Warby Parker. Warby Parker, building frames in really boring designs that are overpriced for millennials since 2018. <laughs> Warby Parker. <laughs> Every day, man, these old ladies come in, they're like, can I take this with a martini? And I'm like, it says right there on the label, don't do that shit. And they're like, okay, bye. <laughs> and what, it doesn't matter what I say, man, but at least I say it because I'm doing my part because we're here to educate, we're here to connect, and we are a team. And I practice it the top of my game and my game is tall look at this neck look at this neck i'm the last defense against madness all right because some of these patients mm -mm, i'm playing with a full deck like the other day this guy came up to me he's like hey hey phil fill my prescription i'm like here here you go and remember you don't take these with milk because it chelates never mind just don't take it okay man but so if i take it after midnight will i turn into a gremlin that was a movie, Bobby. That was a movie from the 80s. There aren't gremlins. I mean, not that have been confirmed by science, although there are theories. There aren't gremlins. So don't. Okay, also, why was Ronald Reagan selling arms to the Contras? Billy, Bobby, now I don't even know your name because your dementia is spreading. It is not 1986. This is not the Iran Contra scandal, okay? This is some Trump thing. Who knows what it is? Tomorrow it'll be some other crap. All I know is that the Clintons are killing motherfuckers. Don't test me, bitch. I've been working at Walgreens for 10 years. I'm dead inside. <laughs> I'm not even kidding.